Welcome to this mini Blender Burger episode. I'm CG Crafted. I'm going to show you a secret that no one knows about because I've just figured it out. It's how to create a sofa. Okay, this isn't really a secret and I didn't just figure it out, but you get the point. We are creating sofas now. First of all, get your default cube. Deform it into a sofa cushion. This, of course, depends on the shape of your sofa. I created an original design sofa, but it's just a two-seater sofa. There are plenty of reference pictures online, so since this is a two-seater, we need two seats. So use Alt-D to save time. With this, if you go into edit mode, both of your seats will be edited. Add some edge loops, then use subdivision surface modifier for the seats. Yay, seats! Correct the shape, continue modeling. Use Alt to select edge loops, and add additional control edges to the size to make the shape more defined. Then shift D, you have the bottom part. Edit your bottom part so it will resemble a cube or something like that. When you are done, you are done. Shift D. You have the cushion hole, the thing on the back of the sofa. Awesome! Stretch, move, resize, add edges, remove edges. Anything you want, that decision is in your hands. Hey, you know what? As we can create a lot of your bottom cushion, a small one for the hands. See, our default cube is so creative, even helping when it's not a default cube anymore. That's why Blender always starts with this cube. Okay, I laid eyes on the top cushion that looks like a perfect backseat cushion. Let's shift D again. Actually, I could call this the Shift D default cube tutorial, but at least you can say the title is misleading. It's really easy, just as I said in the title. When we're done, with the cushions, it's time to add more details. Use multi-resolution modifier for this, it goes hand in hand with sculpting. You can change back and forth between the detail levels, it's pretty good, subdivide it at least 3 or 4 times. Go into sculpt mode, get a brush and start sculpting wrinkles. For this either use the default crease brush and change the direction between subtract and add or download wrinkle brushes from the internet and use it as a mask. Either way it's time to sculpt. Here. And there, and here, and there. Right, it's quite nice. Now add some creases. For this use the default crease brush, it's perfect. I will add creases to the edges, because that's how it works in real life. I will only add this to some parts of the sofa. You will see it on your reference picture, as there is the outward crease that sort of bumps out of the surface. And we won't do that with sculpting. Go into edit mode, select these edge loops, shift D, P to separate this from the sofa, convert them into a curve object. When you're done, adapt to them in the curve settings. And your sofa is finished. I will leave a link for the final sofa somewhere below the video. Check out my DeviantArt for more of my work or CG trade where I have some free models available and also turn on notifications by clicking on the bell to get notified of my newest tutorials and animations. Here guys!